Hello students, so let's try to discuss uh, next video and that is all about the dihedral group and this is the complete rotation of equilateral triangle. So let me ask, let me first discuss what are the elements in this and we will just check whether these elements will form a group or not. And we will also check whether they are basically abelian group or non-abelian group and uh, hence there are six element you can see and we will discuss what are these six element. So we can check this with the Kelly table. So we will also make this multiplication table of Kelly table of dihedral group. This is very important for different examination and to understand the different type of symmetry of equilateral triangle. So what are the different element? The first element is the identity or no rotation or rotation with 360 degree. So what we have, we have one, two, three. These are the corner name and we are just going to rotate with uh, this thing with 360 degree. Then we will get the same thing. So this is basically known as identity. So this is your identity and this is uh, just uh, rotation of 360 degree or identity. So it is denoted by I. The second is that if we will just go to rotate it with 120 degree, then what will be the configuration? The next configuration is this 3 will come here and 2 will come here. So this will be the rotation of 120 degree of this. So this is your another group element. The second rotation is all about 240 degree and that means 240 degree is that rotation of 120 degree twice. So it is given by C32 and this element is this 2 will be go there, 3 will be go there, 1 will be go there. So this is your C32 group. And what we have? We are just going to flip it. So means first we are rotating with 360 degree and then we are going to flip it. So this we will go to the another phase. So that is represented by the shaded line. So this is rotation of 360 degree plus flip. So what will happen? Flip about this particular axis. So we have this particular axis and we are flipping about this one. So this 3 will go there, 2 will go there. Again, this is all about C2 dash is rotation of 120 degree. So first we will rotate with 120 degree. We will get this configuration and then we are going to flip it about this particular axis. So what is happening that we have this configuration. One will go there, two will go there. And same thing, first we are going to rotate with 240 degree and then we are going to flip it. Then we will get this one. So let us try to check whether these all are operation. And this is the six operation. So this will be represented by six cross six multiplication table. And the order of group is six or dimension of group is six. So let us try to fill all the basic element. So yes, we have written in order of I, C2, C2 dash, C2, C, sorry, I, C3, C3, 2, C2, C2 dash, C2, double dash. And you know what is the meaning of that. So obviously if identity will operate on any particular figure, that means you are just going to have no rotation or rotation with 360 degree, you are getting the same thing. So there is not any problem, you will get exactly same thing. So that will be identity C3, C3 2, C2, C2 dash, C2 double dash. Now, let us try to fill this particular row. And if you will go for this particular column, this can be easily filled because C3, you are just going to rotate 120 degree to the identity, you will get C3. So that value is C3. You are just going to rotate 240 degree to identity, you are get this one. So yes, you have C3 too. You are just going to rotate so you have first you are just going to this is your identity plus f so what is going to happen so first you have to rotate with 360 degree and then you are going to flip it you will get this one sorry c2 is going to having this one is c2 so you are getting this one actually that value is c2 c2 dash with the identity again rotation with 360 degree you are getting same thing and again, you will get C2 dash. So this row and this column is very trivial. 
but we can just go for the another possible thing. So let us try to go for this one. This is very interesting. What is the meaning of that? You have C3 and you are again operating C3. What is the meaning of that? You have rotation of 123, this configuration, and you are just going to rotate with 120 degree. Then obviously you will get C2 dash, C3 2. You will get this configuration. And what will happen to this one? If you have this configuration, if you are rotating with 120 degree, because you are going to operate with C3, that means you are going to rotate with 120 degree, then obviously what you will get? You will get identity. You will get this configuration. There is not any problem. You have C2 and you are just going to rotate with 120 degree. So what you will get? You will get this configuration. 2 will go there and 1 will go there. So this will be C2 double dash. You have C2 double dash, rotation with 120 degree. So this will go there, this will go there. So 1 will be there, so that will be C2. And next, what you are going to do? You have C2 dash, C2 double dash. That means you have this configuration and you are just going to rotate into anti-clockwise direction with 120 degree. So 3 will be there and you have this one. C2 dash is there. And you can easily check that all possible elements are in the this row or not. Let us try to go for this one. Next one is very interesting. So what do you have? C3 2. C3 2 is going to operate on C3. So this is your C3 2. C3. So what is C3? This is your C3. And you are just going to rotate with 240 degree. This is basically 240 degree rotation. So already you have rotated 120 degree and then you are going to rotate with 240 degree then obviously you will get identity here. Very interesting. And then you have C3 2 and again you are going to rotate 240 degree. So one will be give you identity and again you are going to rotate with 120 degree. So that is two rotation of 120 degree. So that means you will get something like C3 here. Now, again you are going to rotate it with twice, but 120 degree and again 120 degree. So again, first you are going to rotate with 120 degree, you will get this configuration. And then again you are going to rotate with 120 degree, you are getting this configuration. You are just going to rotate it. You are just going to rotate it. So what you will get? You will get C2 dash. Now let's come to C2 dash. You have C2 dash. And you are just going to rotate with 240 degree. Sorry, here is this rotation is 240 degree. So first you are going to rotate 120 degree. This will be configuration. Again, you are going to rotate 120 degree. Then this configuration is there. So you have C2 double dash. Similarly, you have this configuration. And you have to rotate it in anti-clockwise direction with 240 degree. So first we will get this one. And again, you are going to rotate then you are getting this one. So you have C2 as your value. So this is very interesting. Next, let's come to this element. This is very interesting. You have identity, you have identity, and then you are going to rotate with 360 degree, you will get this one, and then you are going to flip it. Then what you will get? You will get this one. So you have this particular thing is there. Let's come to this one. You have C3, you have C3, and you have just going to rotate with 360 degree. So you are just going to rotate with 360 degree, and then you are going to flip it. You will get this one. Very interesting. You have this particular thing, C3 2. You are going to rotate with 360 degree, or you are operating identity, and then you are going to flip it. Then Obviously, you are just going to rotate with 360 degree, you are getting this one, you are going to flip it. So you have C2 double dash. Very interesting. Now, let us try to go for this particular element. So this will be C2 double dash and this will be C2 dash. C2 dash. Now, this is very interesting. You have C2 and you are operating C2 here. What is the meaning of that? You are just going to rotate with 360 degree. So you will get this one and you are getting flip it. 
So once you are getting flip it, you will get identity here. It's very interesting. You have C2 dash, you have C2 dash, rotate it with one, sorry, 360 degree or you keep it same and then you are going to flip it, you will get C3. And again you have this one, rotate 360 degree or keep it same and flip it, you will get C3 too. Very interesting. So, let us try to go for next one. So, that value is C3 and this is C3 too. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. What you have? You have C3 here and then first you have to rotate with 120 degree. First you have to rotate with 120 degree. You will get if you are going to rotate with 120 degree, you will get this configuration and then you have to flip it. So once you will flip it, you will get identity. Very interesting. You have C2 dash is going to operate on C3. Sorry. So this will be something different. What you have? You have C3. You have C3. You are just going to rotate with 120 degree. So why you are going to rotate with 120 degree? You will get this configuration and you are going to flip it. That means you are getting this configuration, this one. C2 double dash. Very interesting. This is most important. Now you have C3 too. So you have C3 too. You are just going to rotate it with 120 degree. First you have to rotate with 120 degree, you will get this configuration and you are going to flip it, you will get C2. Very interesting. Now let us come to this thing. You have to rotate with 120 degree. So what will happen? 2 will go there, 1 will go there, 3 will go there. So you have this configuration and you are going to flip it. So you will get this configuration. C3 2. And, la and this one, you have C2 dash, you have C2 dash, rotate it with 120 degree, you will get this configuration, you will flip it, you will get this one. So here you have identity. And similarly, this one is very interesting. You have to rotate with 120 degree, so you will get this configuration and you are going to flip it, you will get this one. And once you are filling this one, then you can use the basic Kelly table a property and you can fill it this also but we can easily figure it out what are the possible element and finally we can fill it so what we have we have c3 we have c3 and we have to operate c2 double dash what is meaning of c2 double dash means we have to rotate first 240 degree so we have to rotate with 240 degree the 120 degree is this one and again 120 degree is this one and again we are going to flip it so we will get this one so here we will get this one very interesting we have c3 2 we have to rotate with 240 degree first so first we have to rotate with 240 degree so first 120 degree will give this one and second 120 degree will give you this one and we are going to flip it we will get c2 dash very interesting Next, we have to go for this one. What is going to happen? First, we have to rotate with 120 degree. So, first 120 degree, rotate with 240 degree. So, 120 degree will this one. And then again 120 degree will this one. And again, we are going to flip it. So, we will get C3. Similarly, we have C2 dash. We have to just rotate with 120 degree, again 120 degree, the so first 120 degree is this one and next 120 degree is this one and we are going to flip it. So this will be C3 2 and last we will surely we will get identity. So let's try to see. We have to go for first 120 degree. So the first 120 degree will this one, the second 120 degree will be this one and we are going to flip it, we will get identity. So wonderful. So students, what you have to do? You have to just practice this all operation with yourself. What is the trick? You will start from there and do the operation of row. 
and you have to very well define what is this operation what is the meaning of this suppose i am just talking about c32 and c2 means you have c32 and then you have to first rotate with 120 degree so first you have to rotate with 120 degree what you will get you will get this configuration and then you have to flip it then you will get this and again we have to easily check whether they are abelian or non abelian so what do you have you have c3 so you can easily check so c3 operation c2 is c3 operation c2 is c2 double dash c3 operation c2 is c2 double dash you can find and here c2 operation c3 c2 operation c3 is c2 dash so obviously these are non abelian group so it's a wonderful problem very conceptual and it is very much used to understand different type of symmetry which is popularly known as a dihedral symmetry of the equilateral triangle and that is the rotation of all the all the possible rotation so yes they are forming the these four sorry this six element that is identity c3 c32 c2 c2 dash and c2 double dash that is the nomenclature of all these possible operation is the member of non abelian group so students you have to practice this one with yourself this is very important for any examination related to physics or the uh, group theory or symmetry so you can just practice if you have any doubt let me ask thank you